Watermelon Plants 2803 Fertilizer Watermelon is a picky plant which likes sun, heat and plenty of water but not too much and is quickly outcompeted by weeds or other plants. A high phosphorus fertilizer will promote fruiting, and additional treatments of a nitrogen fertilizer will enrich the plant as it grows. Twenty eight zero three fertilizer. Twenty eight zero three fertilizer is twenty eight parts nitrogen, zero parts phosphorus, and three parts potassium. This type of fertilizer is sometimes known as weed and feed and is often used on lawns to deepen green color and prevent weeds. While the high nitrogen content would be beneficial to watermelon plants, they need phosphorus to produce healthy fruit, so this type of fertilizer is not recommended. 28.03 Best Conditions for Watermelons Watermelons like a soil pH of 6.0 to 6.5, which is adjusted after testing by adding lime. The University of Georgia 4-H recommends a 2020-20 or 2010-20 fertilizer at planting time. 30 to 60 days after planting, a fertilizer supplement is added in a ratio of 4 parts nitrogen to 1 part phosphorus. Watermelons need plenty of water to flourish as suggested by their name but too much water will suffocate them. Allow the soil to dry within one inch of the top of the ground before watering. Watermelon is not a good competitor, so controlling weed growth is important. Using black plastic over the soil can keep soil moist longer and control weeds at the same time. Growing a good watermelon Start seeds when soil is above 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Fertilize with the 2020-20 fertilizer and planting soil away from other plants to avoid competition and allow plenty of space. Watermelons produce separate male and female flowers and need to pollinate to produce fruit. Be sure there are bees or other pollinators in the area, or remove a male flower and brush it over a female flower to hand pollinate. Some growers remove first fruits, which tend to be of poorer quality, in order to produce larger juicy a fruit later in the season, 